Peace, gods and goddesses. Welcome back to another video. This will be a quick message for the collective. Okay, it's fasting season again, my loves, okay? If you don't know, I did a 21-day fast last month, and I'm doing another one. I did say that I was going to share um, the fasting on my second channel, but I changed my mind. I was guided not to do it. I was guided to keep it sacred. And uh, yeah, I'm doing it again. So, and this is for anything you feel that you need to fast from, okay? Nothing specific. Um, ain't no boxing in over here. Just what do you feel that you may be um, codependent to that you need to fast from, okay? If you are in need, um, I don't want to use the word need, but if you are seeking counseling or spiritual advisory or reading, please check the description um, for my email to book that with me. Okay, you can also check the community board for pricing and all of that jazz. So... Let's get into it. Let's see what it is that you need to know at this time. Yeah, you have cancer and you have rebirth. Okay, so water energy, very significant. We're in cancer season and fasting leads to a rebirth. Okay, because fasting is allowing you to die to something old and be renewed or reborn, rege regenerated and revitalized. Okay, the number 13 is very significant. You could be a Scorpio dealing with the Scorpio. Something, something also significant about wrapping, wrapping your hair. Okay, you have justice. Okay, so Libra energy, something becoming fair, just balanced. Okay, I also see some sort of truth coming here. Someone, there's honesty and there's vulnerability here in her eyes. Some of you guys will be needing to make a choice pretty soon, fairly soon. Maybe today, it is July second you have air libra aquarius gemini energy okay i feel like there's something there's going to be a choice that you need to make but it's going to come easy it's not going to be difficult it's going to be very free flowing you may have been in your head periodically or frequently in regards to this choice but at this time you've made a decision here are you really making a decision Oh, happy home. Could be in regards to a relationship or an actual home. You could be purchasing a home. You could be moving in with your partner. You could be just happy at this time. Yeah, look, you have clear vision with the two of cups. Some of you guys may be making a clear decision on a relationship, just period. Yeah, and then you have acceptance. So some of you guys may be making a clear decision in regards to accepting a connection. Someone may have been a bit, res um, someone may have been a bit, what is the word source? Reluctant as it pertains to relationships. Someone may be feeling like, or they may have felt as though they weren't ready for a relationship. God is saying yes. You have the temperance, so balance. The number 14 is significant. The number 13 here is very significant. 11th, I'm also picking up the 7th house, the 8th house, and the 4th house. Let's see here. So those are significant. So definitely be tapping into your birth chart. Some people don't, some people don't realize or understand the significance of fasting and praying and meditating or going into isolation or, um, going within but when you're doing these things these are opportunities for you to dive into other things that are significant and beneficial to your future so that you can receive the enlightenment that you need to receive to move forward that is the point okay let's see what's going on with this justice because sometimes our minds can get cloudy and when you're vigilant it's more liberating and you're more sure of yourself. 
Hence, having this clear vision, you are right with making a choice. So, let me see how y'all see in the cards. Oh. All right, what's going on with this justice? What is this justice representing for the collective at this time? The Ten of Swords. So some of, some of you guys may be going to court or you're going through some sort of battle, custody battle. I'm also hearing family court. Someone could be filing a restraining order or filing divorce papers. Somebody could also be being served at this time. Um, this is also an ending to betrayal here. Someone is being set free, redeemed, and liberated. The King of Wands. So I feel like with this ending and this new beginning, this new sorts, this new found liberation and freedom and sovereignty, it's, uh, it comes with com a confidence. Confidence, an energy of get up and go, an energy of finding yourself, finding your, your peace, finding your path, your way, and being able to lead yourself and then others. I feel like some of you guys will benefit from self-care as well. Okay, really, really taking care of yourself. Okay, somebody finds it difficult to look in the mirror. I feel like you're you're going to find it easier to do that. Okay, something about looks. Like you look really good. You smell good. Judgment. Um, I feel like with judgment and the lovers... You're finding confidence in the in this decision to either go towards something or move away from something. Okay, a lot of you guys could be going towards your calling, your purpose, your awakening to a newfound soulmate. You could even be coming into um coming into union with your higher self here. Damn, you have the Empress and the Two of Cups. A lot of great energy here. I see a couple finding their way back to each other. Mm -hmm. Something about negativity, because I don't know why I just picked up on a negative comment that was in my comment. It wasn't more so negative. It was more so oppressive. Okay, so be aware of projection at this time. Give me more for the lovers and the judgment here. Yeah, the seven of swords in reverse. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against this connection shall prosper. What is this choice that is needing to be made here? The three of pentacles. Page of pentacles. So some of you guys could be making a choice in regards to a new job or a new institution, a new school. Um, this could also be around people that you work with or that you're around frequently, choosing who you want to collaborate with and share new ideas with. This is also giving me an energy of bouncing ideas off of one another. Okay. Okay. Give me more here. Yeah. The nine of cups. Ooh. This is wish fulfillment. This is finding love, peace, happiness within oneself, okay? I feel like, too, a lot of you guys are going to be very satisfied with the choices that you make at this time, with the people you decide to collaborate with, with the relationship you decide to go towards, with the job you decide, you de you decide to accept. Um, this looks really good. Wow, the lovers again and the truth. Some of you guys are, are definitely coming into union with your true divine soulmate, somebody who is going to be truthful, honest, vulnerable, and willing to go the distance with you, willing to take leaps of faith and go into the unknown with you. Somebody also may be shooting their shot here. Give me more for the Nine of Cups. Okay, you got the Five of Pentacles here. That's still giving me the Nine of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So I'm seeing this as the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups. So 99 is very significant as well. 
So something definitely around looking at glasses half empty, half full, because I'm not being guided to read the Five of Pentacles in a negative or poverty stricken way. Although if some of you are some of you are experiencing that, because it has a lot to do with the comments somebody left. If you are experiencing um, homelessness or a lack of money or financial. Um, financial peace or stability i see that changing for you here you have the four uh the seven of wands here there's something around protecting what you do have loving what you do have being appreciative of what you have right now okay how can you expect god to bless you or bless you with more if you're not being a good stewardship over what you have here Okay, so no complaining or murmuring during this time. This is not the season of complaining. Fuck out of here. Clarify air. You got the two of cups again with the empress again and the three of wands. So some of you guys, I want you to know there is a divine connection that is coming towards you. It may, for some of you, it may seem quick. But for others of you, this is what you are expecting with the three of wands. This is ships coming in. Also, when I pick up on your looks or, you know, self-care, catering to yourself, making sure because I'm picking up on a feminine energy, getting out the shower and really taking their time oiling themselves, really getting in the, the nooks and in the crannies, really observing your body, observing your face, observing your blemishes, observing your flaws and all. Okay. The Empress is high vibrating energy. The Empress is, is top tier, okay? The Empress has gone through so much to even be deemed as such. So I feel like right now, um, some of you guys may be tapping into your Venus energy as well. You could be connecting with the Libra, a Taurus, um, a Aries, Cancerian. Somebody's going to be communicating this. Give me give me one more here. Three of Wands and the Empress. Eight of Pentacles. So, so, yeah, somebody wants to work with you or somebody wants to work something out with you. For some of you as well, you could be re you could be receiving a job offer from an air sign. A Libra, an Aquarius or a Gemini is going to be your new manager or supervisor or lead. Um, I also see here too, God definitely wants you to keep working on your craft here because there's something special coming in. You're about to be placed on a pedestal when it comes to work, when it comes to relationships and when it comes to your life in general, the Empress energy just gives me an energy that sits high, but for, for a great reason, like you deserve this position, you deserve this title, you deserve this attention, this noto notoriety, okay? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. So somebody definitely is extending a love offer. This could also be some sort of pitch, okay? A job pitch or um, somebody wants to collaborate, collaborate with you um, as it pertains to making money. I'm going to say that for sure. Somebody um, admires your work ethic. Somebody admires the way you persevere, um, how far you've come. Excuse, excuse the blurriness. I wiped this camera. I don't know how many times. I made it that I felt like doing some Zodiac reading, so... If you want your sign big, post it in the community tab or you can post it on this video, okay? Like, um, I'm going to do Scorpio regardless, but this is really great energy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some of you guys, if you're going through some sort of separation or divorce, I feel like if you are able to embrace it with an open mind, an open heart, and an understanding of everything is happening um, the way it's supposed to, there's so much more that's going to come from this ending, okay? Yeah, you got the Ace of Pentacles. 
clarify the happy home. Some of you guys are going to be getting the finances to purchase a home or somebody's getting pre-approved. The two of pentacles. Clarify the two of pentacles. The king of swords in the struggle position. So I feel like there may be some sort of debate as it pertains to money or this could have something to do with location. Okay, there may, there may, there may be some sort of uh, conversation or a debate or even dispute, excuse me, around the, the amount of a home. Okay, for example, if somebody wants to purchase a home, like they don't want to go over 350000 but somebody's like, you, you're not going to find a house less than that. Houses are going for half a meal nowadays. So somebody's like, well, we need to just wait. And then, like, I just see a debate. Okay, I see a back and forth here. Um, What else? Somebody could be getting some sort of legal advice. What is this King of Swords doing with Happy Home and the Two of Pentacles? The world. Somebody's ending a third party, okay? Because, okay, I'm picking up some, okay, so somebody's inviting someone over or so, someone's being invite, invited out and I feel like I, I'm getting a very intuitive energy because the message that's coming through is very intuitive is not necessarily in the cards however with this empress energy being the the dominant energy um as far as feminine energy goes or relationships goes and it's out here with the two of cups Someone can no longer be uh, persuaded to go outside of their home or outside of their family dynamic. Um, somebody, I feel like somebody is fed up here. Somebody is fed up with the way society is or how people don't have any morals or they don't have any integrity. People don't respect relationships. I'm picking up on a very traditional energy here. Somebody fully respects their relationship. They're happy, okay? The high priestess was on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's a, the queen of swords. I, can, I cannot and will not ever make this up. So somebody's happy in a relationship. I feel like with the two of pentacles, it doesn't also always have to mean a third party. It could really mean that somebody's fighting off entities, fighting off energies, Okay, fighting off energy vampires, okay? Women are men who don't respect partnership. This is literally a, the king and the queen of swords with happy home, all right? And the two of pentacles could speak about juggling or going back and forth or some sort of imbalance with the world that is coming to an end, okay? The cycle is being complete. Yeah, you have the will of fortune in reverse because somebody believes in bad karma, Somebody believes in karma and, and somebody's like, nah, I'm good. Why am I going to rack up bad karma on myself for nothing? For some pussy or for some dick? No. Absolutely not. Yeah, the, the six of wands in reverse. Okay, somebody definitely does not want to be seen as a falling star or a failed <laughs> leader. Somebody wants to keep their position, okay? Somebody, their goal is to break the curses, break generational curses. Someone's goal is to show that love really does exist, especially when it pertains to union, family dynamics, generational wealth, building legacies and creating safe spaces for their families and their generations to come. So the six of wands in reverse is not getting any attention or recognition or being shunned. And somebody does not want that. The king of swords, queen of swords. 
Mm. I did pick up on a couple coming back together or being led together, being led to come into union. Could be any sign, but this could be two air signs coming together because we have air here. But give me one more for the six of wands reverse and the wheel of fortune in reverse here. Because there's there's something around like embarrassment about being happy in a relationship. Somebody feels like that that's weird. Nobody does that anymore. Back in the day, people used to clown somebody for being faithful. Or they would hide the fact that they're in a faithful relationship. Somebody wants to live this out loud, but in a genuine way. Genuinely. Let me see. Yeah, eight of cups here. Yeah, someone someone feels like they'd rather walk away from a situation than to move forward in an illusion or hypocrisy or something like that. What's the eight of cups? The three of cups. Yeah, so this, again, could be two ways. Someone is leaving behind a third-party situation or somebody is fighting off people. Okay, this person can't catch a break, especially if they're an empress or emperor, whatever. Yeah, with the Ten of Cups. More wish fulfillment, more happiness, more stability, expansion, well wishes, love, peace, tranquility, serenity within every aspect of someone's life. So this is really good. This is beautiful. And there's the Ace of Pentacles again. I told you somebody definitely is buying a new home or they're purchasing some land or they're looking into furthering some sort of opportunity or advancement here. Or somebody's getting a huge lump sum or something like that. A huge opportunity to build wealth and love and happiness and peace. Okay? Happiness is the ultimate destination. Just period. But this is this is with someone. There's a lot of cards here indicating union. All right. So I pray this helps. Like the video and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.